Hi, so here we have your new camera. Now the way this works is there's a little door on the side. And the way that that opens is there's a little lever back here. You just kind of flip up with your finger and then it goes forward and comes off the latch. You open the door right like this and here's your controls. There's an on off switch right here. There's a mode button, enter, and then four arrows up, down, left, and right. Now before we get started, on the bottom there is a little button right here. Do you see it? And what that button does is it allows you to eject the batteries. You just push it back towards the back and then out drops the drawer that's got the batteries in it. Okay? I'm going to slide that back in. It just clicks in place. And I'm going to power on the camera. The first thing you're going to see is without an SD card, it tells you there's no SD card and it doesn't want to have you do anything. So you need to put an SD card in to program it. So I'm going to take your SD card, here it is, I'm going to slide it into, notice that it's backwards, that the brass is showing up, the name is on the back, so it, you should be looking at the brass. And it slides right into the camera, push it till it clicks, now I'm going to power the camera back on, I push up on the on button, and then the display comes up, it's showing that it's set for video, there's zero videos out of a potential 85, and there's a delay countdown. What that's telling me is in 23 seconds, it's going to start shooting video unless I do something. Also, my battery indicator is at 50%. So as you put your batteries in there, you'll be able to watch to see what, how good your batteries are. So what I want to do is I want to hit the mode button. So I hit mode. That brings it into setup. Now, you can change the date simply by, on this first thing here, by hitting enter. And if you do, it just flashes just like it would on a regular clock. And you use your up down buttons to change the date and the arrow buttons to go over to the next area which would be the the first is the month then the date then the year same thing with the time okay if we like what we have we just go past it you don't have to hit enter at all there you just hit the up arrow and then it goes to software upgrade we're going to ignore that we're going to ignore the next one which is tv out but delete all this is important when you put your new chip in out in the woods you're going to turn the camera on, you're going to hit mode, and you're going to keep hitting the up arrow until you get to this delete all. Then you want to hit enter. It's going to flash no. You want to hit the up arrow till it says yes. And then you're going to want to hit enter. Now it's deleting all the old pictures on the chip that you're replacing, right? And there you go. It's done. It's deleted all those pictures. So then you would just hit mode. It'll begin the countdown and your camera will be ready to take videos, you just close the door and walk away. But let's look at the rest of the setup. If I go past that, there's something called SD management. It's turned off right now. What that is, is that is, if you have a chip in there and you know you're not going to be able to get back to your camera in a logical amount of time, it'll start to delete the oldest videos or pictures first to make more room on the card so you can continue taking pictures every day. I'm going to leave that off. I'm going to go next. Next is something called Smart IR Video. What that is, is that is um, a setting that if you have your video length on here set to let's say 20 seconds or even one minute, during daytime only, what will happen is this will, if there's action, live action happening in front of your camera, it will continue to record even past your 20 seconds or your one minute setting that you have and record as long as there's action there up to five minutes. If you have it off, then it just goes for the one minute or whatever your setting is for your video length. And we'll see that in a minute what our is set at. I'm leaving that off right now because I don't know if that's a good idea because if there's a squirrel in front of your camera, it's gonna record a squirrel for five minutes. All right, next is time-lapse settings. We're gonna kind of go past that because we don't use time-lapse. This is setting it back to defaults for the factory settings. We're going to go past that. This is a motion test. This is for making sure you have the camera pointed in the right direction. So you could turn this on and walk in front of the camera and you'll see a little blinking light letting you know that you got it pointed towards where you're walking. But before you use the camera, you'd have to turn this off anyhow. So just ignore that. We don't need that. Then this is an image data strip on. This is whether or not you want to have the date, time, weather, etc. printed on your pictures and video. I have that set to yes on. 
So all your pictures and video will have that information on them, but you can turn that off if you don't want that. Next is the camera name. I've set it at David1. Next is, this is all defaults now. This is the temperature is going to show in Fahrenheit. Um, this is the multi-shot mode. So if you're using the trail camera and not video, it, each time that a deer walks in from the camera, it's going to take four pictures real quick, one right after the other. That can be changed by hitting enter and using the up down keys to choose if you want more or less. You can have up to eight pictures at a time. I like the uh, four shot. I thought that was a good number to use. When you find what you want, you just hit enter and then it keeps it, okay? We're gonna keep going on. This is a picture delay. So what's gonna happen is after it takes its picture, if you're in the trail cam, it's gonna wait 30 seconds before it shoots the next picture. That way you don't take too many pictures of the same deer. Video length, this is where we set that length. Now you, this is anywhere from one, I'm sorry, from seconds up to, I think, let's see here. Yep, from five seconds all the way up to two minutes. What we're used to is one minute. So I'm gonna set it at one minute, use the up and down keys to change the settings, use the enter to keep it. So if I like what I see, it's flashing. I'm gonna hit enter and now it's saved. Our videos will be one minute during the daytime only. Now at nighttime, by default, to save battery power, this camera will only take 20 second videos. Nothing more than that. Okay, so remember that. I'm gonna continue hitting the up arrow key to go through the menu. When it is taking video, I have the quality set to ultra. There's two settings, ultra and high. Ultra is the best, high is the regular. Um, obviously, if I have it set to ultra, it will take uh, more room on your SD card. So you can kind of make that decision, but it will look better with Ultra. I'm going to continue going on here. This is the photo quality. I have it set at the highest level, which is 10 megapixels. Again, you can change this setting by hitting Enter. And this is how you set, change all the settings. And then using the up-down keys to go through the different levels of quality. The better the quality, the more room it's going to take on your SD card. And you'll be able to fit less videos and less pictures. I'm going to hit Enter. I'm going to continue through the menu. Now, here is where we change the operation mode. Right now it's set for video. If I want to change that, I would just hit enter. It'll start to flash. I use the arrow key. It goes up to time lapse plus. Then from there it goes to trail camera. And then from there I can set it back to video. Okay? And that's it. Now that's how you switch it between trail camera and video. And then we're back to setup. So what we would do is if we were all done, we would just hit mode. Now we'll go into this countdown again from 30 seconds. That shows you your battery strength. You're good to go. You would simply just close the door, put the latch over it, and then snap it shut. That's everything. So let me just take a re quick recap for you. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to pull the chip out. Let's say you come to your camera. You're in the woods. You just want to, you have another chip to replace it. You open the door, you click on the chip. You remove the chip that was in there, you take your new chip, you put it into your camera. You turn your camera on, you wait for it, it'll come up, and it'll begin the countdown. You hit the mode button, you arrow up one, two, three, three times. You get to this delete all. Now you hit the enter button, it's flashing no, you hit the up arrow once, it says yes, now I hit enter, I wait for it, it will say files deleted. All I have to do now is hit mode, it begins the countdown again, I close the latch, and walk away from the camera, it's all set. That's it, hope you enjoy your camera.